Hi guys, welcome to this virtual box. It's all up to date. And uh, the topic of the video is kernels. We have different kernels. And if you want to learn about kernels, you probably go for Ctrl Alt F for Firefox, V for Vivaldi or G for Chrome. And you type in Arch Linux mm, kernel. Let's see what we get kernel arch wiki and you learn and you read about the stable the linux kernel hardened linux hardened linux of the long term or lts and the zen kernel what they do not mention is that there is also something called the xenmod kernel and it's uh, the xenmod.org where you need to read up and, and see what information is available here now i have copy pasted from the chaotic repo, you know, the one from uh, Karura, we have now on our systems, control T, sudo pacman minus S, Linux dash, tap, tap, and then you type your password. This is fish, that's why it looks like this. <laughs> Taking forever, okay, there he is. So, we have LTS, here we are with the complete selection, and this is what we talk about. Either you install Xenmod, that's one version, Xenmod Edge, another version, and Xenmod LTS. There are three Xenmod kernels online. Now, one of the things that are mentioned on xenmod.org is watch out with proprietary NVIDIA drivers. But I am on the ISO builder. And the ISO builder is on the Xenmod kernel. I've been building the ISOs of, well, in a week's time, the ISOs of December, uh, October will be launched or put online, right? It has been stable, working. There's actually no difference. I feel no difference between the Linux kernel and the Xenmod kernel. So there are okay right everything is okay everything is stable and once these kernels have been tested for a week by me first the testing period then i'll put them online right and we have three computers here this one the next one has also an nvidia driver and i test uh, the other drivers on a non-nvidia an intel computer so these three guys have been deemed fit to be installed but yeah be sure you know how to fix things in tty and maybe even in arch root because if something goes wrong if your particular hardware clashes with an nvidia driver for example right then you have an issue of course then you need to be able to get back to whatever um, you had previously so again let's end with this one it's a message it's a small message but I thought, what the hell, I'll try it. Note, the current proprietary NVIDIA VirtualBox VMware Workstation Player and some other DKMS models builds do not officially support, etc. So, problems, maybe? Note. Well, you are working on a Xenmod machine. This is VirtualBox. And then all is fine. So, in the end, it is try, eh, trial and error and see if everything works. So how do we install now Xenmod? So, by the way, this will not be included on the Calamars. We keep to the four official ones, and this is, you go ahead and experiment with it, right? And it's super simple to install the kernel, the extra kernel, you type Linux Xenmod, for example, and you say, okay, go for it. Now me personally, no. I will type also the headers because I need them for applications as uh, virtual box and stuff. So why not install both of them, whatever you have, just go for two of them and say, okay, let's go install these two guys. That's the version at the moment. We'll leave that one on for a month or so. And in a month's time, we'll check if there's a new kernel. We will test it for a week on my machines. Everything okay, cool. All right, then we move it to the repo so you can install it. So there's also the possibility to downgrade. Maybe a good thing to tell you this, 
this is probably no, right? So you go down great, and then for instance, pseudo downgrade, I don't know, uh, glibcy, something like that. This is a topic, a hot topic today, right? You can download packages. Okay, control C. But did you know that we have also down Grada Linux Xenmod? And we'll get a collection. And you can always go back in time and say, okay, let's go back one version because this new version is not working for me. So the, that's possible always to downgrade. And down Grada is for the packages that we put online. So if we go for down Grada in sync, that's, those are packages we built. I have built them, right? They're all online. You can go back until the one that works for you. That's downgrading. And down Grada. <laughs> so the thing is, with everything in place, if you install the Zenmod kernel or the Edge or the LTS, it will build and start building here all the VM Linux inside the boot folder. It's going to do what it should be doing, updating grub and all that. Basically, time to reboot. And then the Zenmod kernel takes priority. And I believe it's always a good, safe way to keep two kernels. Right? Don't remove the Linux kernel, let it update again, but have a fallback. If the Zenmod for one reason or other says, hmm, don't like it, you can switch easily. You remove the Xenmod kernel again and you have the Linux kernel. So now we're on the Xenmod and yes, we're in a virtual machine. It all works on virtual machine, on real metal, on different Nvidia cards, on an Intel machine. Does it feel any different? I leave that up to you. I, I didn't do any testing. I mean, it just feels the same. It's, it's okay. It's, it's Arch, right? It works. Simple as that. But um, what if you wanted to remove again? That maybe is something you want to try again. So remove Linux Xenmod. Don't forget the headers then. Linux Xenmod headers. And then you're welcome to test with me the Xenmod kernel, the current Xenmod kernel that we have on our repo. So this is coming from the Arconix repos. Like I said, copy paste from Garuda. They've built it. I've put it online. So the reboot. Oh, rebot is something else. And this is too long, eh? SR. And we're back on the normal Linux kernel Chrome from Arch. Updating eh? four or five times a, week, uh, a month, sorry. And the Xenmod kernel will stay the same for the coming month, maybe, right? I'll check it out. I'll keep seeing, okay, there's an update. I'll first uh, test it myself. And then later on, uh, if all is good, I'll put it online. And we're back. So kernels, mm, right? It matters again, guys, know what you're doing, know your TTY, know your commands. And in, in any case, if, if things really break, right? No Arch root. It's powerful. There is no machine. I mean, you can always fix your computer with Arco Linux Arch root. And oh, that's wrong, but this isn't. And this is Arch Linux, of course, so Arco Linux. Go to the university, watch some videos, use the power of Arch root when your computer crashes, fix your Arch Linux computer or Arch Linux computer with these two tips. Voila, lots of videos because you're in control and that's the fun in Arch. You're in control, you have the tools to do your fixes, your, your, your commands, your, your drivers, everything. So stay on top of things, try it out and um, well, let us know on Discord. Cheers.